Hello and welcome to the CSN 3M Mindset Monday podcast. I'm Andrew Wade with Case Specific Nutrition. On this channel, we focus on the three M's, mindsets, myth busting, and mentoring, all as they pertain to health and nutrition. This podcast is brought to you by the OptiLife Academy, Case Specific Nutrition's very own online do-it-yourself wellness course. With over 20 modules and short videos that are meant to keep your attention and keep you engaged, along with action sheets to help you apply it in real life, the OptiLife Academy course is designed to help you develop your why, as well as the habits that will keep you feeling your best. Be sure to check out the free trial at OptiLifeAcademy.com or by clicking the link in the show notes. You can use code Andrew at checkout for 10% off. On today's episode of CSN 3M, we are going to be discussing our mobile app, actually, something that we do in-house and then some ways that we can utilize it to help you find uh, incremental change and positivity in your day-to-day awareness as well as improvements in your consistency. Um, And so those two things, consistency and then also incremental changes, those are two things that we work on very consistently with individuals. You know, when we're trying to build sustainable life habits or nudge or make adjustments to the day-to-day so that we can feel better, oftentimes it's finding a couple things that we have intention to do that we're excited by the idea of doing and then work on allowing those to become a part of our life. Um, And oftentimes the consistency of those and the awareness of those is really what can, you know, serve as a base to actually feel the benefit and then build the habit in the first place. So um, for those of you who don't know, we have a mobile app, and the mobile app is called Rate My Day. Uh, that's R A T E space M Y space D A Y. Rate My Day, and uh, Rate My Day, or R M D as we call it, uh, is available on iTunes and Android. It is a free download. We've had about five thousand users now, which is exciting. Uh, you don't have to be a patient or a client of ours to download it. It's meant to really just be a resource out there, and um, I created it about. About, I guess it's been, wow, I guess two years ago is when it got started, and then we launched it about a year and a half ago. Um, and the whole point of it was I realized over the years of my counseling that one of the things that people struggled with was their consistency, but specifically their awareness of their consistency. There were a lot of people that I worked with that were working on a couple habits or trying to pay attention to a few aspects of their life, and they didn't really have a good, clear picture over the course of a week or a month how often things were happening or taking place. And so the goal of Rate My Day is very simple. Um, It's meant to be a simple awareness tool. Um, It's a download, you create a login for it, and uh, then you set an alarm for when you want it to nudge you basically on your your mobile device. and it, whenever you set it, it will basically pop up and say, take a moment to reflect on your day. And it'll ask you to rate the day as red, yellow, or green. Um, and then there's notes you can type in. And the red, yellow, or green is meant to be defined by you. Um, this is something that we use with a variety of clients. I have people that use this to manage their anxiety um, or to monitor their anxiety or their depression uh, or their emotions. And if they're having a really bad emotional day, they mark it as red and then they Journal what was going on in their life. If they have a yellow day where they were feeling kind of neutral, like they were maybe a little bit down, but it really wasn't consuming them. Um, you know, they might know it as a yellow. And then if it's a green day, that hopefully means that there's been a lot of positive going on, or they really felt like they were able to live their life in a good way that day. And then they can journal that. And over the course of weeks and months, we can then see how often are we green, yellow, and red? Are there any patterns to the yellows and reds? Uh, and is there anything we can do? in that journaling to better understand what's triggering or what's causing those to happen. You'd be amazed how many times, you know, red days from an emotional standpoint occur, you know, at specific days during the week and it's realized that, oh, it's a meeting that's at work or it's, you know, it's some event that goes on in our life or it's the, you know, aftermath of when something you liked or that was exciting to you was done and it was disappointing. We can really see a lot of patterns when we, when we seek to observe. Um, we do have people that use these for dietary, um, you know, intervention purposes, and you know, I, I think one of the most common ways to do it is to kind of make sure that we say out loud that red, yellow, and green doesn't mean good, neutral, bad necessarily in this instance, but instead is meant to sort of capture variety. And so, if I'm working with a client who's working on trying to eat more consistently and maybe um, navigate food um, and sort of like you know 
treat meals or higher calorie meals or whatever it is, you know, um, a green day is meant to be a day that feels really good, right? So good energy levels, good fueling, foods that digest well, um, where a yellow day is meant to be a day where there might have been some variance that, um, you know, was meant to be enjoyed, right? A chance to live in the moment or, um, you know, enjoy something spontaneously um, or have an extra snack or whatever it is. It could also be a note where something was thrown off by the body. Um, and then a red day can be a day for a lot of people that's sort of like that treat meal, that exception, that special occasion, right? So it's, oh, there was a wedding or there was a, you know, a, a big gathering and it's meant to be celebrated and excited. Um, and in this, what I end up working with people and doing is, hey, let's think about this as if you ate green every day, you would have really good energy levels, um, you know, everything would be stable and all that, but you would never really per be participating in sort of, you know, all these different events and opportunities and spontaneity. Um, if you ate yellow all the time, you'd find yourself snacking and grazing, which initially is fun, but eventually can sort of disrupt your appetite and, you know, can cause you to feel bloated and nauseous. And if you ate red all the time, you'd be just a walking party um, and, you know, really kind of feeling over the top. And so the hope is that each one of them by themselves would actually be kind of lonely and we sort of won all three of them. And so I, I talk to people about the 5-1-1, which is the idea of, hey, let's have five green days each week. Let's have a yellow day and a red day where we, um, you know, leave that wiggle room to basically just enjoy whatever it is that we're enjoying. Um, and so it's meant to help people find and practice moderation um, and also remove sort of those feelings of guilt that can come from, you know, how, you know, if you're somebody that's been being really intentional about what you eat, it can be a chance for you to look forward to whatever event is coming. Red day is a wedding. I want to be able to enjoy this wedding and I've been conditioned not to and, you know, initially at least as a as a transition point this can be a good way to prove that concept of oh yeah if i eat red every day i'd feel awful which is why i don't eat red every day um, but if i do it sometimes it's really fun i get to enjoy things and i have a much better relationship with self and health um, and you know the yellow day leaves us some room for some random things at work or some fun events or some evening you know an evening snacking with a movie whatever it is and then the green days are those foundation days, those days that are allow us to regulate our digestion, regulate our appetite, and set us up to really truly balance out the diet. So a full week with some of each feels really good, feels like it's supporting health and allowing you to participate. But to be honest, my favorite way to use rate my day is really in the, in the process of incremental changes, which is to pick a couple key things that we know would allow us to feel better. So for example, um, if it's someone who's struggling to include vegetables in their, in their day, um, you know, we could say that maybe one of those things is having vegetables every day, like at least two cups of veggies daily, for example. And then say the other thing is, um, you know, inconsistent or inadequate sleep. So it's this resolution of, yeah, I typically sleep five to six hours. I know I need more than eight. I need more than seven. And so if we had two goals that we were identifying together when we sat down to say, okay, I know that if I eat more veggies, my diet would be more balanced, my digestion would improve, the, the vegetables would feed the gut bacteria, which would regulate my appetite cues in a lot of ways, and it would improve my digestion, which allows me to feel less sluggish and more energetic. And I know if I slept more, my stress levels would come down, uh, my body would recover better, I know that my mood would improve and my energy levels and productivity during my workday would soar. Okay, well, wow, those are two really awesome interventions. Um, and so then we basically use those two as our focus points for the month ahead. And a green day is a day where you did both, a yellow day is a day where one of them was done, and then a red day is a day where neither of them happened. And from there, you can then see your, your consistency. And what happens is on the calendar over the course of the week and the month, you see how many reds, how many yellows, how many greens. And then in the dashboard where it compares the months, you can see how many green, yellow, and reds you have from one month to the next. And so it's meant to be a pretty versatile opportunity, but more importantly, you can, I'm hoping you can see where it would drive consistency for those that are looking to better understand their consistency, right? It's, it's this idea that most of us forget that we eat three to four times a day, seven days a week. Um, and, you know, we 
exercise and we work and we have family obligations. We have all these things going on in our world and most of us feel like our world's going a million miles an hour. And if I talk to you on a Thursday and we try and talk about what's going on in your world Monday, it's very hard to recall that. But something like a rate my day allows us to see what's going on, monitor sort of macro view points, see big picture trends, see what's going on in the, in the day to day, and then what it's adding up to. And it can be a really good way to help people adjust and see their reality. It can be a good way to expose patterns and motives. Um, and it can also be a good way to sort of serve as a simplified way to capture um, you know, subjective feelings. Wow, I'm feeling really good after a few days of doing this, or you know, I had a few days where I didn't and I felt really sluggish and sleepy. The goal of the app is to remove the guilt and the shame and a lot of the negative emotions that a lot of fad diets provide, uh, or you know, provide whether it's accidental or intentional, um, and replace it with a goal of awareness, which is really what we try and work on. We try and help people with awareness of self and intention, uh, better understanding what the goal is and why that is the goal. And from here, we can use a resource like RMD, um, you know, to really hone in on factors of life that can really profoundly improve or get us towards that goal, uh, and then see how consistently we're able to do it. And I don't know about you, um, but I know a lot of people, and myself included, um, you know, there is a there is a four-year-old inside, and bright colors tend to work, and there's something about getting a green um, or a yellow or a red and then reflecting on it that becomes um, sort of mentally stimulating, gives sort of a dopamine rush, gives a good challenge, becomes a really easy way to communicate and, um, you know, become in tune with self. I even have physical therapists that have people that are supposed to be doing PT exercises at home and they use RMD to keep track of how often the exercises are getting done. Um, a lot of times that initial awareness can be extremely valuable and can allow us to better, better see what we're doing. Um, and then from there, what we can be doing to improve it so that it feels better mentally, physically, and emotionally. So if you haven't already, check out Rate My Day. I would encourage you before you start using it to outline what your goal is with it and then what your uh, green, yellow, and red is defined by. Um, I would caution you from setting it up so that red is a uh, it, unless you're doing something more emotionally focused like stress management or depression. Um, if you're doing something like tracking life habits or doing food related, I'd encourage you to avoid red being a bad day, um, but instead thinking, thinking of it as an exception day, right? Because there really isn't such a thing as bad food, but our diet can influence how we feel. And if we recognize that there's a spread of food that feels very good and consistent, but might not, might not be emotionally and culturally um, complete, we need to make sure we're inserting those emotional and cultural components. And then when we're doing that, we wanna see how often it is, uh, because far too often, you know, a donut on a Tuesday afternoon in the middle of the work day, followed by a handful of M&Ms before you leave work. And then that night going out and saying, man, I haven't eaten anything all day and eating, eating a, you know, a personal pan pizza and wings. It's, we can see where our brain can sort of fall, fall into that, you know, uh, you know, mindless eating essentially. And so the hope behind Rate My Day is that we actually help with mindfulness, we help with that awareness, and more importantly, we seek to use the, the red, yellow, and green to see patterns, um, but not to cause guilt or shame, instead to relieve from that. Um, if you have questions or you wanna set your, your own RMD goals with a dietitian, you know how to reach out to us. We are Case Specific Nutrition. You can find us on casespecificnutrition.com as well as Case Specific Nutrition on all social media. I'd like to thank you again for listening. Please subscribe to our channel, CSN3M. Share on your favorite social media, tagging a loved one. And uh, don't forget to hashtag spread the health. We'll be back next week with another CSN3M Mindset Monday.